Good folks, you know why? Yeah, once again, I really don't got anything to talk about, so I figure I might as well mention Sunday's New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Cell event in Long Beach. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna admit, I didn't really see a lot of it. Um, I don't have access to Silver in my area in Canada and Access TV. And I thought about getting the New Japan subscription, but see how they do it is they charge you every first of the month and they don't prorate or nothing like that so if I would have bought the membership March 23rd when I thought about buying it literally I would have been paying 13 I would have been paying for a subscription for seven days so that's why I couldn't really see the logic of buying this subscription, but I might be getting the ROH subscription. Especially with their pay-per-view coming up in a few weeks on the Saturday. Um, however, I did catch the Golden Lovers, Kota Ibushi with my hero Kenny Omega versus the Young Bucks. So three members out of the Elite and Bullet Club franchise in that match. Um, so far tag team match of the year out of any wrestling organization hey, those guys fought with their hearts out you could see it um, um, that match almost went on for almost an hour or two so, and they kept the pace going almost the entire hour which was insane like you could tell all four of those guys were spent after the match. It was not no professional wrestling show. Those guys, four guys, were no fuel left in their tank. Those guys had no energy left. Those guys were burnt right the hell out, which is good to see. It shows that they really, really wanted to put on the best show for fans. <coughs> and I have a feeling that uh, Wrestling Observer reporter Dave Meltzer's in the crowd, or as they refer to him as Uncle Dave, they really want to put that show on for him. Um, so, and, yeah, so, match ended. Well, actually, first, right before the match ended, so a couple minutes left in the match, Kenny was going to put Matt in the one wing angel. And then he couldn't. You can see he stopped because he didn't want to put in his best friend. And then Matt Jackson, while on Kenny's shoulders, actually grabbing Kenny's hand and tell him, do it, do it. That was actually a pretty emotional and awesome moment for a professional wrestling story of friends battling. The fact that Kenny was going to put his finisher on, hesitated because he realized who he was going to do it to, but then... Matt saying, no, do it, man the fuck up. Hit me with the one lane angel. Um, but at the end, Cody shows up after Kenny and uh, Bushy win the match and celebrate and walk towards the back. Cody comes out, shoves both the young bucks down, which then Kenny comes running back in the ring to go get Cody. And I think Kota Bushi ran out with Kenny Omega too. Um, and then the show pretty much ended with Kenny shaking Nick's hand, but Matt wouldn't shake Kenny's hand and walked away. So still a lot of questions up in the air. There's even questions as far as the Young Bucks. Maybe the Young Bucks might be splitting up as a tag team. There's so many angles that could be possibly played from this. Especially if you follow the Being the Elite YouTube series like I do. Those guys, they've set up a lot of their angles for ROH and New Japan on the show itself. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, folks, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, day two of holidays and it's pissing rain out, so... It's really not anything I could really do today. So, 
Anyways, folks, that's all I got. Peace.